will obviously include the the selected works of people who have come, like you, for example. Uh, it also needs to include a lot of other, um, let us say, local documentations which have been done, very serious documentations of maybe heritage structures or um, some new researches of uh, new architecture of the region, uh, papers submitted in various symposia in the yeah. in this part of the world. So we've also been trying to tie up with these key universities in, in these regions, you know, trying to get people uh, to, to get new references or about studies which have been done in those institutes, stuff like that. So you can also help. Yeah. You can also yeah. give us some Hopefully. references. Uh, uh, this lady called uh, Vidya Stuti. Vidya Stuti? In, in, in the Vidya Stuti. Oh. Na? Right. She's an Indonesian. Uh, you know of her? India. No. She did the research in this Kerala. researcher from. The yeah, yeah, she's a researcher. What, she what she works in uh, some university in Indonesia. I don't remember the name, but she had come down recently to Trivandrum. Trivandrum. Excuse me. Uh, there is a city called Trivandrum in Kerala. I, I don't know. There is a city called uh -huh. uh, like this is Cochin. Yeah. There is a place called Trivandrum. Trivandrum. And uh, there was a huge seminar which they did last month. Uh, not last month, some three, four months back. Uh, uh, she was one of the key speakers there. Some uh, very good work on uh, mostly traditional stuff. Mostly <laughs> traditional architecture and, you know, uh, the original roof forms of Indonesia and uh, things like maybe that. Maybe from, not from Yogyakarta or from... I don't think Bandung? from Yogyakarta, no. Uh, I can't remember where she was from. But the name is a, the name is a Japanese name. <laughs> it is a Japanese name? Jaffa, yeah, Jaffa. Javanese. Javanese. Okay, okay, Japanese okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay yeah. Yastuti is uh, maybe Semarang or Jogja, Surabaya, something like that. Surabaya. Yeah. Uh, the, I remember her. Is, uh, I remember her speaking about Surabaya. Surabaya. Yeah. Maybe, or Malang, but there, that that the name come from. Where is your uh, uh, this Badung is where? Bandung is uh, West Jaffa. Bandung. West Bandung Java. is West Jaffa. Oh, I see. Okay. But the name origin from Bandung is not Vidya Stuti. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, great. So, uh, just wanted to uh, just hit off some very basic points that we had discussed in relation to the living monsoon and your work. You know, uh, I think we should we start. Can you can you share some some experiences about your uh, your upbringing and? The province from where you are, uh, because your work seems to have a lot of, <coughs> lot of influence. It's been influenced a lot by your childhood memories. Yeah. So our our reading of it, yeah. maybe maybe totally wrong. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But a lot of, uh, you know, you seem to refer to your, uh, the, traditional right. homes and the screens there and Japanese the screens. darker bedrooms and mm. you know mm. the darker spaces Life in your homes. So it's not a uniformly lit house normally that you make. Uh, seems to be a lot of memories attached to it. Can you throw some light on something of that? Yeah, my my childhood is uh, in the West Jaffa. Um, I I born in 62, 1962, but uh, I think I, I lived almost in the big cities uh, such as Bandung and Jakarta. Also, I, I uh, 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 grow there and study there. But uh, my 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 grandmother is uh, one of of uh, sister of my grandmother live in Purwakarta. Is uh, have uh, like a pilotis house <laughs> okay. and there is a the traditional house yeah the traditional okay. house uh -huh. the traditional house in 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 indonesia is uh, very different from the region to region in west jaffa the traditional house only maybe up with uh, one meter oh from above okay. not like in sumatra or uh, borneo is uh, like uh, two meters or half this is only maybe half meter to let the airy yeah. come and to make a dry, not not humid. Every time I went there, um, I always uh, 
like to run because they're made by wood and a doo -doo 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 something like that. And my my grandmother always sit at the ground, and they call sila something like this, something uh. like this. And and everybody, but I always run around and then they call sila sila sila. <laughs> okay, I, finally I I sit and but uh, essentially I I go. Like a slip and between gap, wood and wood, and I feel the, the air yeah. or something like that from from uh, behind, and I saw peeping to the behind, and I see the another space below. There's uh, some that I I always remember. <coughs> also, I'm come to Yogyakarta at. Uh, 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 when I'm, uh, I think 12, uh, yeah, 12 or 11, Yogyakarta, when Echo Power to come, uh, Echo, uh, cities, uh, go by train and also uh, for my uh, for my grandmother's friends and also I, uh, and I, at that time there. When afternoon the children has to like uh, sleep for the second nap at the afternoon and I push and I sleep to the nearby the the wall the wall with uh, the wall in Indonesia not made by in traditional not made by brick but made by bamboo. Uh. The, the the bamboo is uh, not not stiff but something like. Also, some or something, and then you can see the the hole from it. Also, you can see. Also, you can uh, like a poetic uh, light from there, and also you feel breeze. And I think that's uh, in my childhood that I remember uh, something like that uh, about the darkness, about the airy feel, and uh, or the. The openings, I think, openings not not have to big sometimes, but close, but some little bit also I think influence for our architecture. And uh, because in Indonesia only two two climates, I said we are said dry season, dry season Indonesia. and the wet season. And I think not. As extreme as your in Cochin, there's uh, have uh, like Indonesia maybe the lowest part is uh, 20, 28 in Jakarta. The highest part is uh, 32 or 33. So like in all the, the all entire year. year, and for me, it's, uh, I think to go back to celebrate our tropicality is uh, it's a must. To redux to the reduction, the how we call it, uh, use the electricity or use the air conditioning, something like that. To to also, I like uh, I like in the in the in the border between between dark and light. Uh, just. Uh, that's why I, I like uh, like uh, afternoon or early morning. I don't like uh, uh, like uh, noon or like uh, night. Yeah, like uh, in, in 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 between. I think I, I like in between. Uh, yeah, this is uh, I like uh, between. This is not outside, but this is not inside. We are sitting, and I like in in between. That's why maybe it's an influence for my architecture. Um, I I like the light, I like the shadow, I like the the poetic of the uh, morning and the afternoon, and that's uh, influence more my my architecture. Also, <coughs> in Indonesian tradition. Um, Architecture. There are many, many roofs mm. shape. Mm. Mm. Maybe 
uh, when I came, I just realized when I came to Venice Biennale for architecture that uh, Kulhas made uh, el elements or something like that. They collect all the architecture room all hmm. of the world. Fundamentals. Hmm. Fun yeah. Fundamentals. Yeah. yeah. Fundamentals. Yeah. Fundamentals. 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 Yes. And seventy percent of the kind of loop come from Indonesia because uh, in Irian uh, like this one and in Sumatra something like this mm -hmm. very different kind of loop I think because uh, Indonesia not not have uh, extreme uh, extreme weather. weather not have extreme like uh, wind and they they meet many roofs without the without shaking, uh, like shaking or going yeah away. yeah going up because of wind. strong wind but indonesia uh, have uh, like uh, earthquake area in japan indonesia something like that maybe the roof is uh, can can uh, make have a uh, shape uh, various but uh, but have to maintain the roof not from the from the wind but from the earthquake yeah and because we are uh, we are uh, have uh, many kind of roof many kind of uh, uh, history for mm. us why don't I I like uh, make uh, some new roof in for the new Indonesian modern architecture, but based on our roof, based on our uh, traditional roof, but slightly to to make a different something like that. Because if if we are Indonesian architect, not use the history for ours, I think another architects can can use our history to yeah to inspire their their some <coughs> like in first when i'm uh when i'm as a speakers at that time also marina tabasun also as ah, speakers okay 2014 the first speakers is from woha woha yeah yes yeah. for monsoon yeah. and he told uh about the where inspiration take off and all 60 or 70 or 80 percent inspiration for Indonesian history and if Indonesian not get the inspiration for our history and then everybody can yeah uh, but yeah that that is true but then uh, if there was 70 or uh, percentage that you said uh, variations of roofs they cannot be just climatic alone there has to be a cultural aspect to it. Yeah, yeah. Right? <coughs> there has to be a cultural aspect to it. Uh, there are various ways of making it, but then uh, the forms have varied so much because of maybe uh, community uh, aspirations or cultural uh, factors. Uh, why I raise this point is because uh, although you speak about roofs so much, your, your buildings seem to have a very Cobusian attitude to roofs. They are very uh, usable roofs. They're not really, uh, very few buildings where you have probably used uh, sloping roofs the way uh, one would really think of a picturesque uh, tropical uh, architecture, so to speak. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, I, I, I agree because uh, now I'm, now I'm, I'm on a, uh, um, I'm in, in recent, I, I live in recently, not not in the past. Also, in maybe you are same as uh, after we are we are uh, back from the our invita wedding invitation with the uh, traditional uh, clothes. We go to McDonald's and to <laughs> eat McDonald's, <laughs> okay. something like that. That's why yeah. I think uh, yeah. I. Um, I respect for my history, but also 
influence for the foreign Prism. architecture, for the modern architecture also inside for me. And maybe I don't use uh, as roof, uh, but I use uh, like a, uh, like a same pilotis or something like that. It's uh, also kind of, uh, and then mix because I, I, al I also s uh, like a traveling and then I think it's in my head is uh, like a mix about the history, but, but but bottom if in my heart also I have to make uh, another or new uh, new architecture from from Indonesia. Although uh, influence from because that you said that uh, culture also culture, culture. But the Indonesia is a uh, origin culture uh, tr traditional, but when when Hindus come and then become the the Hindu and when Islam come also become uh, Islam when colonial come is also many acculturation to go to Indonesia and I'm not denied that uh, modern acculturation also come to my own and I mix to the traditional to, to put. So, so when you are <coughs> when you're really uh, sitting down to design, uh, is there a certain stage at which climate comes in, or is this, it is inbuilt? Uh, do you do you get the question? As in, uh, or is in a, there is a certain way to you like you have been uh, telling that there are a lot of things that uh, influence your design, mm. but uh, there might be some starting point from where you start off a design. Like, how no. do you start off? How they can yeah, climate yeah, yeah. comes in at a certain like point? Like I, I asked this also matter. because yesterday we were discussing about it. And uh, for example, your your house, uh, the space above your uh, above the piloti, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that space seemed to us from the drawings and the photographs seemed to us to have very little of ventilation. Uh, maybe we are we are totally mistaken from what we saw mm. but uh, we could see that there is a ribbon ribbon window at yeah. the at the floor level yeah. and uh, it seemed to me that a that a good percentage of it is fixed glass and there are these top hung windows in between yeah. you know uh, which did not seem to be too much but then it looks like a very habitable space mm. you know so uh, it kind of puts to test this entire theory of you know cross ventilation is uh, is extremely important for a tropical uh, architecture. Mm. Uh, here you seem to be uh, seem to be arriving at that solution through some other means and not through climate actually. Mm. <coughs> so it is it's like more more of a worshiping of space rather than you know some given prototypes of form in a tropical climate. Uh, yeah, you're dealing with something else altogether. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Opening doesn't have to be really big. Earlier, in your yeah, own uh, house. Yeah. Uh, oh, but uh, uh, in my principle, uh, I want to uh, make the, the 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 bottom line is that uh, you have to you have to uh, you have to living in the in the uh, in the good. Uh, in the good, in the good feeling, in the good mm. feeling, comfort. Yeah, what the good com comfort, comfort yeah. zone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The comfort zone, I think, is a, uh, is a. Uh, nothing about culture, nothing about the, uh, but the comfort zone. How to make a comfort zone as, as, uh, as good as 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 good as possible. Uh, and then, uh, how to make a comfort zone uh, to also the not not use many uh, many elec electricity, many energy. Energy. Yeah, many energy. Yeah. yeah and that's yeah. why uh, maybe that's uh, the aim, uh, the bottom line aim of my architecture first. And okay. so like like uh, in my house. Ah. In my house, in and second the, the ribbon, the ribbon, ribbon yeah. Yeah. yeah, the ribbon <coughs> in the left side, uh, 
of course I use a glass. Okay. Because there's uh, my bed uh, for my children. Yes. But the left side, I think the side which is facing the pool. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. another is uh, not not without glass. Without glass, only hole without glass. Around, Around the passage and all that. Yeah. It's without glass. Without glass. But it doesn't have any uh, protection either. So water comes in when it rains. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the water comes in when the wind is very big. <laughs> but in you Indonesia, to live with it? not not yeah, rarely the very big wind left in in York. And in that is a ram uh, coming to the my living room. Above the ram is a, like a ceiling fan, and above the ceiling fan is a pathway to my my children. And the okay. the pathway is uh, like a uh, not not firm but uh, wooden slits. Uh, wooden slits yeah. Yeah. And the air is coming there, and it's coming to become a positive uh, 